Hello, 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 my loves. I thought I'd come on here real quick. I just came in from church, but I'm an observer. I might not say much or, you know, I used to be overly friendly, but I'm not anymore because of some of the things I went through. So I have, um, I look at people from a distance or I'll, um, I have a different standard, like, what? <laughs> I don't let any of everybody in my life, but you guys watch what you do at church, in life, in your family, in business in careers, in any form of manner. God gave everyone special gifts, um, special purposes, special anointings. Work together with people as one. You can't be jealous of someone's gift, whether it's singing, dancing, whether they're better with you with their verbiage, um, their talent, their gift, fixing a car, painting, um, motivational speaker, whatever, whatnot. What? God gave you your gifting, so y'all gonna get to where <laughs> y'all get to heaven and go, I served you, I served you all my days, and I will worship you all in church, and God's gonna be like, yeah, but you blocked people and they left the church, you blocked them and they stopped singing, so they weren't able to utilize their gift because you had a click, and God gonna go, no, you can just go on down to hell and be in torment with Satan the rest of your life, and you're gonna be like, God, I served you, though, no. Get away from me. I never knew you. Because you was blocking people in church from using their gift. Because you saw that their gift was more powerful than yours. And you didn't want your position taken. So instead of utilizing who I sent to assist and help and build the ministry, you ran them away. You shut them down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and because you blocked them, God said, he going to block you. Mm. Say it again. Because you block them, God gonna block you. You think he won't? <laughs> Watch it. That heavenly door gonna be blocked so hard, you're gonna be like standing there like you acting like Satan anyway. He was the worshiper, right? Over um everyone in heaven. And then he got sly and slick, tried to get sly and slick with God and God. Gave him the left foot of fellowship and kicked that joker right out and a third of the angels. So you still up to your shenanigans? You didn't learn from that? Worship leader, um, dance leader, pastor, minister, deacon, prophet, prophetess, fivefold ministry, if I miss one, teacher, um, um, entrepreneur, CEO, CFO. Um, whatever position in the world, whatever position spiritually, really. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> I just sit back and laugh at people. You know, I, I love my parents. Um, they raised me really good, but I've never, and in God, whatever he puts in you. So I've never been jealous or envious of anyone. Never. For what? I always celebrate people. If you go, oh, I got a new car, house, job. I got another car, another house, another job. I got a business. I bought land. I'm like, hey, eh, 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 I got next. Or I'm just so happy. Like, I can't get their stuff. Why well, be jealous and envy of them? Who? How do you have that spirit as a Christian? I can see the worldly people. Okay, I get it. But you saved, filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. And you jealous of folks and envious and clicking and you like God know me. He don't play up my me. God got me. I hate. I, 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 I was gonna say hate. I do hate those little food that food because that's the devil. God got you being. God got you by you while you being evil and demonic to folks and blocking people. God got you. God understand me. God understand your pettiness. The all knowing, all seeing, all powerful God. You don't, you don't know the real true and living God because if you did, he correct you out of that foolishness. And then if you prayed, he definitely get you. And if you spent time at his feet, he'd shut you down. And if you was in his word and reading it every day, that stuff would come out of you. There's no way you could be like that if you know the true and living God that you serve. Um, there's no way you're a Christian picking up your Bible every day and your, your Bible and them scriptures don't check you to get that out of you, to pull that out of you, to make you be the man and woman God's called you to be without, without all those idiosyncrasies. Oh, I know I got my idiosyncrasies. You don't have to have them. 
you carry them and you want to have them. And God will be like, I gave you a scripture on that. I gave you a teaching on that. Um, I told you that in prayer. I showed you many times when I would send people to be in ministry with you or at work with you or in your business with you or in your life with you in any form or manner. And you pushed them away and you closed them out and you shut them down. And I was trying to give you a divine connection. I was trying to bring you closer to me. I was trying to open your eyes. Yeah, me too. All I hear is crickets, chirp, chirp, because, and there was silence in heaven. <laughs> it is 2024, and you don't want God to ever say, get away from me. I never knew you. Your flesh stinketh in my nostrils. You want God to tell you that? Get rid of your vulture spirit. What's a vulture spirit? You, acting like that. People that creep on people and don't let them be who they are in God but they want but you want all the glory didn't Satan do that didn't he want all the glory you, you must be part of Satan's kingdom because God's true people they don't act like that they don't treat their brothers and sisters in Christ like that so you've been in a position one year five ten fifteen twenty thirty years and new people come along to assist and grow the ministry and this is my position I am the leader and no, sing lower. No, sing higher. No, don't sing. Don't move that way. Don't dance that way. Don't preach that way. Don't say that. Everybody, if everybody was the same, we would need each other. I don't like business run like that, but God sent you people to help you in business that have brighter minds. Well, you wouldn't have to do everything and you're jealous of their talent. But you asked God for help or didn't ask for God help and God saw you needed help and you still close those people down? Get away from me. I never knew you. Your flesh stinketh in God's nostrils. Where's your compassion? Where's your discernment? Where's your unconditional love? Where's your forgiveness? Where's your where what part of the Beatitudes are you in? Where are your fruits of the Spirit? Where's your compassion? Hmm? Where's your joy? Where's your hope? Where's your believing for your brother and sister in Christ? Mm. Y'all be careful now. Just wanted to come on real quick and say that because uh, <laughs> this got to cease. Y'all ain't doing them making your flesh happy, the devil happy, and bringing yourself down further. And you could have just rose up. And brought your brothers and sisters up with you in the spiritual and the natural realm. But um, what do you call it? Hoarding? There's so many words to call that. Is that covetousness? Or it's mine. I'm not letting anyone else in. Mine, mine, mine. mine. It's not your ministry. It's not your altar. It's when I mean, God gave you a, a gifting and a calling. But you can't hoard it. For yourself, it's not for you. You weren't even born for you. After salvation, you're not your own. Ye are not your own. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit here and um, finish eating my food. I just wanted to come on real quick and go, <laughs> get yourself together. Don't miss heaven for foolery. Sit there and serve one year, five, ten, twenty years, all your life, and then you miss the mark because of small stuff. Y'all always stop thinking people are not going to go to heaven. Because they murdered someone or um, this and that and that. And this. God used Moses, even though he murdered someone. He used um, David, even though he sinned with Bathsheba. Because their hearts were right toward God. And your heart ain't right if you're throwing people out of ministry and out of work and out of the neighborhood and out of uh, uh, anything or whatever. What? <laughs> Rip it. <laughs> I'm sitting here shaking my head harder. SMH harder. Just appalled at Chris. Chris, I can't even see it. Be a true Christian. I'm not even perfect myself, but if I know not to do something wrong, I'm not going to deliberately do it. And I'll walk up to people and say, if I hurt or harmed you in any form or manner, known or unknown, forgive me, because I might not know I did. But to deliberately do stuff, deliberately have a click and talk about stuff and how you're going to sabotage someone before they get to church. Oh, I couldn't almost say, I almost scream saying that. You evil person with your evil heart and your evil ways. Repent. 
You need deliverance. You need to be set free and made whole. Those are demons. Those are spirits. And ain't God ain't got you. Satan got you, your flesh. You are blinded. And some pastors wonder why their churches aren't growing. Um, them tares, <laughs> the wheat and the tares, there's too many tares. And the wheat is like shriveled up. <laughs> Jesus, la, la, la. I'm going to intercede. Keep interceding because something has to break. <laughs> something has to break. Mm -mm -mm. Repent. Mm -mm -mm. No, matter, no matter what part of ministry you're in, from the head down, if you're walking up rightly, it's best, but if you're leading God's people's wrong in, in a flock that he gave you, what? That's not okay. That's someone's soul. That's someone's salvation. That's someone's spiritual life. You don't care? If you're a leader in praise and worship, dance, um, ministry, teaching, prophetic, evangelism, and you're shrewd and nasty and mean... And then you're with your other people in ministry and the, the core team, this and that. You think that's cute? You conjure together to sabotage other Christians? And that murder, like in your mind first? You don't know what that person's going through in their natural life. And you don't know how what it took them to press to do their calling, to walk in it. Or if they had issues before and they mustered up the strength to get back into ministry. And then you were the leech. You're the mole. You're the person that destroyed them and they were at a breaking point. And you broke them and they walked off from God, walked off from church, committed suicide, stayed in depression, isolated. You did that. And you didn't know it. How many people have been to your church that sung, danced, prophesied, ministered, taught, preached, served in any form or manner, cleaned the church, whatever, from the lowest to the highest position? And because of you, they left. Because of you, they won't go back to church. Because you let Satan use you. You let your flesh use you. Repent. It's about to be Easter. March 31st. What? In another day? Today's Good Friday. Whenever you're hearing this. Today, tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, years from now. Repent. Father, help the body of Christ. Barosu di gelas mbagtum bede ash itu zunian namas indurish atur sumbande kilash itu zu mandara kondu gilebase zunianda. Take out, take out the flesh. We only need this flesh to house our bodies, house the spirit man. Because you don't have, can't have a spirit, a little light illuminating round and round. People would understand that. So God had to clothe us in the flesh. Lord, touch every man, woman, and even if a child or teenager is listening, grab a hold of them, Lord God, at the reins of their heart, their spirit, their soul. Their body, haleki. Their minds, and zuman dele shitu. Nanana sun tamare. Turn their hearts. Turn their eyes. Turn their faith to you, O oh God. Let deep call up for deep. Let them seek you, Lord God. Let them lay prostrate before you. Let them sit at your feet. Let them sit in your presence until there's no more them in all of you. And unfortunately, not unfortunately, but fortunately, we have to do that all our life. Till he comes and gets us, all we depart before then. Bakati sun tiri sundamato. Zialas in diru suman diri bakonda. Mm. Mm. No flesh shall stand in his presence. 
May tongues of fire be your portion. May righteousness be your portion. May cleansing be your portion. May deliverance be your portion. May God crush you. May rock bottom hit you. Lest you not repent. Mm. If there has to be a deeper wilderness experience to awaken you, to shake you, to bring you out of you, deliver, deliver. God, deliver people from themselves. Let the body of Christ be what it needs to be. Don't attack your brother and sister. Attack the evil. Attack the people out there in the world, not your people in church. Where, where does that come from? Satan. May there be an impartation of God's glory, impartation of his spirit, an impartation of worship, praise, and teaching, an impartation of every facet of who God is. Mm. He has get multi-talented, multi-talented you. Uh, he's multifarious. And you want to tear your brothers and sisters down in church, at work, wherever whatever spectrum but as it is to see you bash it a zoom on time but it's too cool as it is you need godly wisdom but i call the big piece i told you and then and they call about there's no way you can pick up your bible every single day and read it and then not transform you change you and take the things out of you that are not of god that that are of this flesh Anger, malice, discord, gossip, mess, mm. strife, all the things God says not to have, and you do that? And you think it's funny when people leave the church? You go, girl, we ran them off. We ran her off. We ran him off. That's you're high fiving people in church because you ran a saint out of church because of their gift, their talent, because of jealousy. And your pastor's praying for a flock and good people to help him serve, to help him win souls for church growth. And you think that that's something to brag about, Takash? Aremo mande helish in duzulu tu talabash e monziande dos e shialus mande. Father, mm. touch, deliver, set free, make whole anyone listening. Break them, Lord God, till they're broken. And after you break them, break them some more till there's no more them in all of you. I pray that every single day with God. Ah. Keep me humble. Keep me right before you, Lord. Oh, how, how are you vicious and wake up and go, hmm, who can I destroy today? I always ask my husband or people around me. I say, was it worth it? They go, what? I say, was it worth that attitude? Was it worth what you did to that person? Was it worth the thoughts you had that you wanted to do but didn't do? Is it worth that? Is it worth it? You conjuring up what you conjured up? Hmm. Was it worth it? Was that worth your salvation? Hmm. Think about it. I'm going to sign off. I'm a little torn. I'm sick of watching that stuff in church. And definitely at work when I um, was in corporate America. People saying they're Christians. Oh, I'm a Christian, but with an attitude and messy and... Uh-uh. <laughs>